So I came in thinking this video was original. It's not. Yo, 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 what's good, I squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to give a big shout out to my boy over from Credo Immortals. He did give me this shirt while I was at San Jose. He hooked it up and gave me a long sleeve, and right now it's coming in so clutch because it's starting to get a little cold up in Tally, and it's like perfect for the weather. Anyways, I did want to start a new series on this channel. It is basically like a face off between two shoes. Doesn't matter what shoes they are, it is just two separate shoes, and I figured what better shoes to start off with than these two. I know there is several videos on this, I didn't know at first. I thought I was going to be original, like just doing these two shoes. I didn't think anybody else would actually have like this in their mind, but I'm going to do it differently. They they do it their own way i'm gonna do it my way so without further ado let me break down how this is gonna go i'm gonna talk about the shoe in regards to style comfort and which one i prefer and maybe a few things along the line here and there like i said i'm kind of just winging this series right now just because it is a brand new series on this channel and i think that you guys will enjoy it a lot as well as i enjoy actually talking about the shoe if i sound a little tired because i am it is actually 207 in the morning right now and i am recording because i am going to get this video edited and uploaded by tomorrow since it is the only time i had to record anyways the two shoes that i'm using today will be the ultra boost it is not the original color it is the black color in the v1 well that's no, not even v1 it's 1.0 and then i will also be using an og nmd of course the og nmd is the first nmd that dropped so i figured why not use this one since i have it i don't have the original ultra boost but i will be using the black one because it is basically another iconic colorway since it is one of the first colorways of the ultra boost that has dropped so to start off i'm gonna talk about the style both of these shoes are stylish they both have boost they both have prime knit uppers except this one's like a little more tight for some reason it doesn't look like this one the prime knit on this one looks a little more stretched i honestly don't know the difference now that i look at it i never really thought about why they look different but like i said they're both stylish they both have prime knit so that means that they both form to your foot pretty well the difference between the two shoes i would say is that this one's more of a running shoe than this one i'm pretty sure you can run in these but i don't think they'll last as much as these this is more of a lifestyle shoe it's a more casual shoe that you can wear to go out and stuff you can wear this one to go out as well but it's more of a running shoe since it does have a lot more boost it is an ultra boost it does have more padding more cushion therefore more comfort so speaking on comfort since i was going to get to that later on i might as well just get into that now the ultra boost does win but don't get that wrong that this nmd is bad comfortable it is a really comfortable shoe you could go wearing this all day and i'm pretty sure that you'll be fine wearing them you will not be uncomfortable i promise you because i wanted to work one time and i felt great at the end of the day and i'm a barber so i'm standing like all day but going back to style this shoe for some reason, I mean, it's very nice, don't get me wrong. The 1.0 is the nicest versions of the 3, or there's 4 now, I think. There's like a rumored 4.0 or 3.5. I don't even know. There's so many shoes just dropping. Like I said, I'm behind in the trend. I'm behind on all this right now because of school. But for some reason, the 1.0 just looks the nicest. The 3.0s, they have like the stripes going down. Then the 2.0s, you can see too many lines. This one just flows perfectly. The only downside to the 1.0 is the sole. The bottom does wear out pretty quickly. But I have to disagree with that. A lot of people say that the sole wears out pretty fast. I mean, the little nipples that were on it did wear down, as you guys can see there's barely any left and this is a beater this is why they're so dirty they're literally black right well they're yellow now, they were black at one point but i cleaned them they use some crep you know crep's fire they're all scuffed up if you look at the heel cuff and then you look at the cage they're mad scratch painted it doesn't even say ultra boost anymore the words in the boost kind of gone the silver parts this shoe's a mess and the sole still lasted like it's still going i can still walk on it grip is fine i mean right here in the toe area right on the under like the palm of the foot i guess you can call it it is actually wearing down a lot i'm pretty sure i I can get i can beat the shoe a little more and i think it will still last a while and i've beat this shoe down to the ground taking the concerts clubs everywhere and they're still not in bad condition like the prime knit hasn't ripped there's no stitching coming off usually prime knit does rip or any knit on any shoe rips at this point when it gets worn this bad so i would say this shoe its durability is pretty good as far as this shoe goes in durability i'm pretty sure it'll last as long as the ultra boost the only reason i say that is because adidas lives up to their quality i feel like their quality is really good on their shoes and just on their products overall so i feel like both shoes will last as long the only thing is the sole like i said i mean this sole it can wear down pretty easily as well just like the ultra boost just depends on how much you beat it down to the ground as far as the support goes the support does win on the ultra boost because it does have the cage you can tighten that down and it will form to your foot it will keep your foot locked down you do have this heel cover very stiff and that will keep your foot in place won't give you too much movement inside the shoe the lining around the ankle is pretty tight your foot's not going to move much there either as for the nmds your foot will move the nmds will fall off your feet as you guys have seen mickey slip out of them in one of kaisa's videos he was like playing ball and something i I think he got crossed in one of the shoes. It was an MD and thing it slipped off. Obviously, these shoes are not the best for support, but they are good for comfort. So to summarize everything I said, the Ultra Boost does win as far as comfort goes, support goes. And when we get to price point, this one is $10 more expensive normally on average price. It is a $180 shoe. And the NMD Prime is usually $170. So it is $10 more expensive, but for those $10, you are getting a way better deal. So I would say that the price point wins on the NMD since it is $170. It is cheaper, but you're not getting what you get in the Ultra Boost. As far as the NMD goes, this shoe wins in style 
hands down. It is super stylish shoe. It's very simple. Like there's not much going on to the shoe, which when this shoe came out was phenomenal because of that. It was such a simplistic shoe and it was yet still so stylish. I guess, I don't know what it is. I think it's the brakes that give it more style and then like the lines and it's like just the prime knit and there's not much going on to it. So I guess that's what gives it a really nice style to it. And yes, I know you guys are going to hate on me for putting the shoe tree in there, but the shoe tree I have in there is not that strong. It's one of the softer ones from Ikea. There's two from Ikea. There's the clear ones and the black ones. The black ones are stronger. Just putting that out there. So you guys don't keep hating in the comments because I know a lot of you are going to comment that. And as far as durability goes, they both, I would say they're even because they're both Adidas. I really haven't beat this one on the ground, but I have wore them out one time to the club and they're nice and clean still. Sole's good. This one, sole's not too bad, but I beat this one down on the ground like a lot. So durability is even out. So that basically gives two points to this one, two points to this one, and they both tie out as far as durability goes. But I would have to choose the Ultra Boost just because for $10 more, just $10, you're getting a way better deal. You're getting the comfort, the style. I mean, you even get style with this shoe. I'm not saying it's an ugly shoe. I forgot to mention style on this, but this shoe is pretty style, the 1.0. The 3.0, I have a pair of triple blacks, which I don't really like. I wish I could have had the 1.0s, but those are way more expensive. I just couldn't get my hands on those anyways. So with this shoe, you're still getting style. You're getting comfort. You're getting support. You're getting durability. And for just for $10 more, just $10 more, you're getting the full package. Like, you cannot go wrong with this. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see another video like this. If you guys want me to compare any two shoes, doesn't matter what it is, I will do it. Obviously, I'm not going to go ahead and buy some NMD nice kicks because, I mean, I can't afford that right now because you're not in college. But if you guys want me to go ahead and compare any two shoes, it could be two Adidas, two Nikes, Nikes and Adidas, Pumas, Reeboks, anything. But it has to be something I want to buy and I would keep so I can actually test it out. I do want to help you guys out with this series. I mean, I didn't really explain the purpose of it, but it was to basically like show a comparison of the two shoes and also help you guys decide on what shoes to buy because I know a lot of people are stuck between NMD and Ultra Boost. People always ask me in school, like they know I'm a sneakerhead and they're college engineering. Like I have a few friends here and there and they're like, yo, what shoes would you prefer? Like the NMDs, Ultra Boost. And I tell them like, yo, if you want comfort, Ultra Boost. If you want comfort and style, I mean, and cheaper, just a little bit cheaper, you can go with NMD. So that's basically the purpose of making this series. Like I said, let me know in the comments below what two shoes you guys want me to compare next and I will do so. I do have triple black NMDs finally coming pretty soon. They're coming up this weekend with my parents because they're coming to visit for the Louisville game. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. And I do, before I go, I gotta give a shout out to the fan of the day, Ludwin Gaming. Big shout out to you, bro. Congrats on entering the giveaway for the month of October. If you guys do want to become fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and comment notification squad on my latest video, which would be this one. And if you guys want to be fan of the day for the next video, make sure you're first to comment notification squad on this video, which if you're late by now, you probably just didn't make it. But you can do it in the future, so go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy Sneaker Sign out.